I'm Adam Sessions with Sessions Farm, uh, family operated farm, and uh, we're at Sessions Farm Market in Grand Bay, Alabama. We're a third generation farm. We farm about 2,500 acres total. We do um, row crops, cotton and peanuts, about 1,000 acres of that. We run about 300 head of mama cows. We do vegetables during the summer, watermelons, tomatoes, cantaloupes, corn, just about anything we can sell at our local farmer's markets. We also do um, satsumas and pecans during the fall, which do very good for us. Our operation, we try to retail as much product as possible. We have uh, three roadside stands. We have the one here on Grand Bay Wilmer Road. We also do, during certain weeks of the summer and fall, we have local farmers markets in Mobile with the Farmers Market Authority. And um, we also wholesale as well with our citrus. We sell a good bit to the school systems. And we sell to different box stores and wholesalers around the southeast. We employ, we have about 16 full-time employees and also seasonal uh, harvest contract harvesters that come in during the busy times and during harvest seasons we work seven days a week other than that we're six days here at our retail locations 7 30 to 6. Yeah we get our fertilizers and chemicals and seed from different vendors in the area there's AFC, Nutrien, Helena, uh, Bertola Farms in Bowen County, uh, Kelly Seed Company, Mobley Nurseries in Georgia. We buy some plants from them. Uh, there's, there's several options. To, we don't put all our, all our eggs in one basket. We shop around to different local folks. Yeah, all of our um, packaging, from unboxing our product, washing, stuff like that. It's all done in our new building here. It's, we built a big warehouse and it's behind our retail shop here at our store on Grand Bay Wilmer Road. This is our uh, satsuma trees. And as you can see behind us, uh, some of our orchards were interplanted with um, pecan trees. And it helps during the winter with the cold weather. It just uh, it doesn't get quite as cold and um, it's just something we kind of incorporate and also uh, like this orchard is spaced wide for pecan trees and you can make uh, look, generate a little more money per acre by having citrus and pecans interplanted. Our pecan orchard here is uh, 75 by 60 and uh, something we've learned over the years when, when we are planting new orchards this is one of our older ones but the more room the pecans have, the air flows a little better, and it just seems like we don't get as much of the disease because this area is awful with all the rain we get in our area and the high moisture, it, the, the disease is can be very tough on us. All right, we're in our little ochre patch, and um, as you can see, it's about to play out, but there's still a little bit we've been picking. But uh, we, as we work up, the plant will prune the leaves off, which helps with airflow and pushes the fruit to the top of the plant. All of our vegetable crops, as you can see here, is um, all on plastic mulch with the uh, drip tape underneath that we use for watering or fertilizing, whatever we need to do. We can, um, if our plants look sickly, we can fertilize through chemigation and give them a boost or just keep everything watered. We also grow peaches. Uh, we grow Florida Kings as the variety. Uh, we do all of our pruning ourselves. We'll come in and we prune out the centers. We try and make it look like a upside down umbrella. And then we'll cut the tops as well later in the season. And uh, we do all, all the fertilizing. And um, bit, one of the biggest things we have trouble with, we have to watch for, we have to be sure to spray the trunks with insecticides for uh, the tree borers. All right, this is our uh, grater. This is the washing vat right here. We'll have a cleaning solution in there. We use it for mainly for citrus, but we also use it for bell pepper and cucumbers, things like that that need to be washed. But uh, you wash the fruit, and it comes up the conveyor, and there's also another water here to rinse off the, the soap solution. And then it comes through, and this is a um, 
you use food grade wax to help preserve the life of the fruit and then it comes out this end where you pack but for citrus there'll be three more sizes so you size it as you go and then you box it and weigh them and put them in the cooler so we uh use extension for several different things throughout the year uh, we'll use it online looking at different things like spray applications or things that they recommend and also we work with the local agents um, discussing different things as we need it they are very helpful advice i would give the beginning farmer would be it takes a lot of hard work and also don't be scared to ask for help or advice because from different farmers as well because what works on our farm for us may not work for you but so you can implement different things from different farmers that may work for your operation.